everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be another huge Timu haul. Honestly at this point I am just obsessed with Timu. I've done several videos now which I'll link them all down below. I am working with Timu on today's video but I've also done non-sponsored videos as well. I, as usual my videos I will give you my honest opinion about everything I've got to show you but I feel like with Timu anyway everything's so affordable that you can't be too harsh on things because you've got to look at the price you pay for something and what you get and I think all in all I've actually been so lucky with Timu in the past. So I'm very excited to get into this one. I have loads of things to show you so I'm actually splitting into two videos. This is kind of like my part one Timu haul and then part two will be coming along very soon so definitely keep an eye out for that one. But I really hope you enjoy seeing everything that I picked up from Timu. They have given me a discount code which I will leave on the screen along with all of the details of what you can get if you use that discount code and I'll also leave it linked in the description box below. You can basically make Timu even more affordable than it already is. Also I'll pop Timu's listing on the screen next to me as well so everything that I mentioned and you can also see what it looks like on the website and it'll have the current price and stuff and I'll leave everything linked down below because sometimes you do find the prices chop and change a bit so there's no point in me saying it you might as well just go click the link and check the current price up when you're actually watching this video so this is the first item that I have and it is this huge I didn't realize it was going to be this big acrylic like makeup skincare storage container that you'd put maybe on your vanity unit and I really love this one. It comes in a few different colorways, but I have just gone for like the completely clear one. I just like the way that the drawers were kind of rigid and then the clear looks, I don't know, it makes it look kind of quite expensive. So the top part lifts up like that so you can keep products in here and you've got loads of space here for all of your like tool products. And then you have two drawers down the bottom here so you can obviously keep like palettes lipsticks, eyeliners, I don't know, anything that's a bit more flatter. I just think this is like your perfect makeup storage container. And then it has these really cute little gold legs on it as well. So a really cool item. And I'm very excited to fill it up and pop it on my vanity unit. Okay, next up, I thought these were great. I've been looking for a little travel set for ages with these kind of like squeezy bottles in there because I want a travel kit that gives me stuff for my skincare but then also allows me to take my like shampoos and conditioners and body wash as well, which this kit does. I believe it's like, is it like a 20 piece kit? I'm not sure, it's got loads of bits in here. Let's have a look what we've actually got in here. Also the color, how cute is that? Oh, they feel really nice as well. Oh, I was thinking they were going to feel a little bit more plasticky than that. No, they feel good. So we have these little pots and they even have inside like the little stopper as well. I've never seen a pot with a stopper in it like that. Like, you know, like a reusable one. And I think the shape of these is also really cute. So you get two of those in here. Then you get a little pump bottle here, which I will definitely be using for my cleanser. Just like pump out my cleanser. And then we have a spray bottle here which I would generally use this to put a little bit of uh, facial tanner in because I like to have a little spritz facial tan. Um, so I'd probably put that in here, but obviously you could put anything you like in here. You could put a toner in here. My hair is freaking all over the place. I did a heatless curl thing. I talked about this in my previous video. I did a heatless curl overnight thing. And honestly, I woke up this morning, I'm like, Pfft. so I feel like it's just getting bigger and bigger, but we're, we're working with it. Then um, we have this little bottle here, which again could be used for like toner or something. It's just a general kind of bottle. Then we have, oh, this is cool. So this must be what you use to like funnel the products into your little, oh, it must be what you use to put it, how you put it in these. I did wonder that. I thought, how do you put it in these? Somehow you must like funnel it in. I'm sure I'll figure that out. And then you get three squeezy bottles and I really like these because they're just squidgy and I just think shampoo and conditioner when you're away, perfect. Next up I have, is this a skincare product? Mushroom Air Cushion Plant Nourishing Cream. I'm going to open this one up. Um, I wanted to buy a few more kind of makeup and skincare products in today's haul just to try them again because I tried them in a previous video and a few of the products I was like... I'm uh, not too sure about them, but I went for like their dupe products. But this time I am going for the actual sort of like unknown products that are genuine brands in their own right, if you know what I mean. They're not just trying to like copy other brands. I thought I would try out that. So I picked up this and the brand is called Ochil and this is their beauty cream. Oh, it comes with a sponge and it, you can soak it. So packaging is really nice. Also their makeup and skincare stuff, it's like a few pounds. <gasps> This looks good. 
So we have the little sponge in a bag like that. And then this is the product. So I think this is actually a foundation cushion product. Um, I picked it up in shade one ivory. So it'll be interesting to see what the shade looks like. So you twist it open, has the little protective cushion bit there. So this is how the product looks. So I'm actually just gonna open up the little sponge so we can actually test this out. Now it does say you can soak the sponge a bit like how you would uh, a beauty sponge you'd soak it and then it would make it bigger and squishier. Before soaking is suitable for partial concealer and after soaking is suitable for a full face of makeup. So I think I would actually um, just use this when it's wet and it can really puff up. Actually, should I go and wet this? I feel like you're gonna wanna know what this looks like wet, aren't you? Okay, this is what it looks like here. I'm just gonna go wet it and I'll come back. I think this is why they call it the mushroom cushion thing because look, it is like a little mushroom. So it has grown quite nicely and it does feel very, very squishy and really soft. So then I think all you do is pop it into the cushion, the cushion pushes down, and then the product comes out on the sponge. Now let's see what the coverage, oh. Oh my goodness. The coverage of that. I had like a bit of a sort of patchy fake tan hand and it has just completely evened out my skin tone. But it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. It's not scented. That's nice, I think I'm gonna like that. I think that's gonna be good. Okay, next up I have this magnetic dashboard car mount holder. Can't remember how this one works actually. Um, oh, I see, so it's the one where you like push it in or, right, I'm gonna have to play around with that, but basically I think it sits like that. So it goes on the dashboard like that, it hooks in and then you put your phone on it and then it'll move around on this ball. So you can put the, the phone, you know, if you wanna use your maps or something, you can see it on the picture there. Um, then you can easily mount it in the car. So next up I have some skincare here, which is the Centella Frozen Sleeping Mask. Sounds very interesting. And this is what the brand looks like. Actually, the brand here is called Laku. That's the brand. And it's brightening, repairing, after sun, deep nourishing. Oh, I didn't realize it was an after sun. It says it's rich in centella extract uh, and aloe vera, niacinamide, silky smooth texture, which can be easily absorbed into the skin. It has function of repairing damaged skin after sunburn. I did not realise that was what it's for, but that's quite cool. You can just put a mask on overnight if you've got a little bit too much sun. Packaging looks really nice and also feels like quite expensive. Oh, look, box of individual ones. So each one I think is three mil. How cool are these for traveling? Imagine going on holiday and knowing you're gonna be in the sun a little bit and just take a few of these with you. These look so good. And there's so many in there. I don't even know how many have we got in here. Well, there's loads anyway. Okay, next up, I have some jewelry here, which comes in nice packaging, actually. It comes in this lovely little jewelry box, which says fine jewelry on it. Now, when I was on Timu, I was looking specifically for silver jewelry, because I wanted jewelry that wasn't gonna tarnish, or even that was like plated jewelry. And they actually had quite a nice selection of slightly more expensive jewelry. When I say expensive, it's not that expensive, but you know, more expensive than a few pound that you'd normally pay. But then if you paid a few pound for something, generally kind of wears quite quickly and goes a bit green. So I wanted something that was actually silver, but was just coated. So this is what I picked up. It comes in this really cool, like, I don't even know how to describe this. It's a box and then it has almost like a bit of cellophane in the middle, which holds the bracelet in there. Open it up like that. And then there's your bracelet. And I went for this beautiful, which is actually really lovely. It's almost like a kind of like snake effect bracelet. It's gorgeous, it's so dainty. The gold color is actually really nice on it as well. It's not that too bright of a gold. It's that nice, pretty gold. It has 925 written on it. So we know that it is solid silver. I'm not quite sure what they coat it in. So I don't know how long the coating will last, but at least we know that underneath it is actually solid silver. And then it does have the extender chain on it as well. Okay, next we have a little bit of branded stuff that we may have already heard of. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, I actually bought the minis. You can buy the full size one on there, but I really wanted to buy five minis because, oh, I just love it when things are mini. And these are so handy for traveling. 
So in each one of these, it is three grams, and these are the berry ones, and they smell really good. They're so moisturizing. You don't have to just wear them overnight, but they're very like thick, not sticky, extra moisturising. They look a little bit glossy on the lips as well. So I generally use these at night or during the day, whenever I want a little bit of moisture on my lips. Um, I do use Laneige all the time. So I was really excited to get all five of these little mini ones here. Next up, I have another lip product. I can't remember which one this is. This is called the Skin Lip Oil. Cute green packaging. Oh, Green Apple Envy is the colour I've picked it up in. Why have I picked it up in green? Why would I do that? I tend to do my Timu orders at about 1 a.m. when I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna scroll through Timu for like five hours. So sometimes I pick up random things, but I've apparently got this in green. I'm sure it's just like a sheer color. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, it's just a sheer color. It's not actually green. It's gonna be satisfying. Oh, yes. Now, with my lip oils, I do not want them sticky at all. So let's see if it's sticky. Nope. It's like an actual oil and it smells like green apple. That's why I've got it. Oh, the smell is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I love the smell of green apple. Obviously I'll have to test it out more to see how kind of like moisturizing it is on the lips. But I think this is the one that had really good reviews and it also comes in other colors so you can get like slightly tinted ones as well. But that is what it looks like. It's the Skin Lip Oil Green Apple Envy and it smells so good. Right, I have another lip product here which is called Sensory Party. Really, really cute packaging and I think the brand is called Sensory Party, is that right? It's called the Crystal Frozen Berry Bear Lip Glaze in shade 7. I think it's just the one. It's just the one that looks like a little bear. Oh, it is. Oh my god. In the lid, I don't know if you can see that, but there's this little tiny pink bear which is really sweet. And this is a tinted lip balm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I went for this really lovely dark berry colour. The product feels really lightweight. Let's see. Oh, oh wow, that is nice. It's kind of like a bit of a, it's a bit more reddy. It's like a pinky red colour. That looks nice. It is unscented. Not like that green apple, I love that green apple smell. Nice. I wonder how much this stains the skin. I'm pretty sure it's a lip sort of tint stain thing. So I'm going to leave that on my hand for a minute just to settle. And then I'm going to wipe it in a minute and we'll see how much it stained my skin just while we go through some other bits. Next, I have more skincare. I have this pack of dragon fruit anti-aging masks. Like I said to you a minute ago, aging is happening. And I'm trying to do everything I can to stop that from happening. So I picked up these, you get five in a set, they're five of the same. I can't remember if you can mix, mix and match these or you just buy five, I can't remember how it works. But these are the Dragon Fruit Anti-Aging Mask and it makes the skin supple and moisturized. After cleaning the face, take out the mask, apply it to your face, relax your mood. After 15 to 20 minutes, remove the mask and gently massage in the remaining essence until the skin absorbs it and I'm guessing it just leaves you with nice, moisturized and anti-aged skin. Okay, next up, in my last Timu haul, I did buy some of those, they're called like fleece tights, but they're the sheer looking black tights, but they're actually fleece underneath. And I wear them all of the time, so I wanted to buy another pair of them. So I have picked up a second pair of these, although this color looks slightly different. But basically when you wear these, obviously they stretch a bit and then it looks like your skin underneath but you're wearing sheer black tights. But actually on the inside is this lovely fleece lined fabric. So they're really nice to wear with like jumper dresses in the winter and boots. And it looks like you've got a little bit of leg out but you've not really because you're actually lovely and cozy and warm. So yeah, I really recommend these. And they have lots of different options to choose from. On Timu, I generally just go for things with the highest amount and the best reviews when I'm looking on Timu to make sure that I get the good quality ones. But these ones feel great and obviously I'll link these exact ones down below. Next up, I have this bag of eucalyptus, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I think I'm gonna use this as decor somewhere and wrap some little lights within it. Basically, a big 
bundle of eucalyptus very long and I do quite like it. I have bought another one of these in my other haul because I really wanted it to be really thick. So I'm gonna actually add two together so then it will actually look kind of a lot thicker like that and then put lights through it and maybe have it on like a mantelpiece or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. Rub the top layer of that lip stain off and we are left with just this lovely berry toned stain on the hand. So yeah, very much looking forward to using that one. Next up, I think this is a storage box. Yes, it is. This is a, oh, it's massive. That's good. This is a huge clothing storage box, which is great. I just wanted something to put like my sort of summer clothes in and then just slide it under the bed so that everything could be kept tidy and then I can actually just get it out when it gets to summer and then I'll do vice versa for the autumn winter. This is great. This is massive. It's quite hard to show you how big this is on camera. It's a really nice big square bag and then it has the handles on it as well and then it has this little window in there so you can actually see what the clothes are in there as well. Last up I have another bag and this one is a makeup skincare type travel bag. Beautiful beige colour. It says on it Rose of No Man's Land. I suppose it's in this kind of like square diamondy shape but the zip goes through the middle here. It has a handle on it here but when you unzip this it falls open and then it falls to like a square rectangle and then you have all of your products like laid out. So it's quite easy to store because it packs quite small but then when you open it up you have all of this space and it also has little side pockets as well which is really nice, you can pop brushes and stuff in there and then you have all of this space in the middle for all of your products and then there's also a nice little zip compartment in the middle as well which actually I feel like that would work really well for brushes also. So a really great way to kind of like transport your makeup and skincare but it would just pack really nicely and easily. So that is everything from today's Timu haul. Like I said, I am gonna be filming another one of these very, very soon. I'm actually gonna film it straight after this video, but it will be up on the channel very soon. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to use the coupon code if you wanna save some money on Timu. I'll leave it on the screen again now, but I will leave it linked down below along with all of the products that I've talked about and all of the information in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.